Welcome to another Amazon Lumberyard tutorial from Burton's Media Group. This is Dr. Brian Burton. In this tutorial, we're going to add a we're going to add an explosion effect to our asteroid that we've been working on. Thus far, we've created shots, fired them into the game environment, been able to hit our asteroid. Then in the last tutorial, we created a collision event that removed the asteroid and the shot from the game environment when that collision occurred. Now I'd like to show a nice little happy explosion. Happy, yeah. <laughs> uh, okay, not so happy, but we're going to have an explosion effect that adds some more interest to our game environment for Lumberyard. So let's get started. To include particle effects inside of your Amazon Lumberyard project, you need to have a particle effect library as part of it. Now you, you can go ahead and create this on your own or you can use what's already existed. For this tutorial we're going to use something that already exists. So I'm going to my C drive, Amazon, Lumberyard, Dev, and I'm going to go to the starter game under libraries and there is a folder called particles. I'm going to copy that and go to my game, my space game, and back to libraries and paste. So now I have particle effects available to me inside the game environment. So let's add a particle. I've got my asteroid selected. We need to add a particle which is under rendering. Click on particle and then you get all kinds of cool particle effects. Now by default this is going to enable inside the game environment. That means that the explosion is going to happen immediately inside the game environment so all of your asteroids would show an explosion effect on the beginning of the game. That's not what we want. So we're going to turn off the enable, go to our particle effect library, which should be under your space game, libraries, particles, and I want to use particle effects from the weapon FX XML. So click on the down arrow of that and select weapon FX particles. Then we need to decide what explosion we want to use. Well, I've already played with this a little bit. I know that I want to use the explosion explosions launcher explosion for this particular effect. If you want to play with them a little bit more or see what else is available, you can go to the particle editor underneath tools and explore the different effects that are available to you and decide on what you need for your game. Color tint in, by default for this is white, which does not show well in my game environment. So I'm gonna go with a much darker, more of a brown there we go, looks much better, and we sh that should take care of the particle. There's tons of things that we can play with on this. Uh, I'm going to ignore the rotation. I don't really care what direction the asteroid's oriented on, and that should do it for the particle effect, but we do need some code or some script to actually enable this explosion effect to happen inside the game environment. So let's open up our collision script canvas, or we need to add a little bit of script so that we can handle the explosion or turn on the explosion when a collision occurs. So the first thing that we need to do is check and see if the particle effect is enabled. And there's only one is enabled currently in the script canvas, which is under rendering particles, which is exactly what I need. So I'm going to place that there. And this is going to check and see, is the particle effect currently enabled? By default, it's not because we just turned it off and we don't want it on right now. So that's a good thing. So we need to turn it on. So let's check and see if it is turned on. So we'll use the logic if. And if that is false, then we want to enable it, which is done with set enable. So if it's false, we want to enable it and that'll turn it back on. Last thing to do is create from the on collision to the end for is enabled so that when a on collision occurs, both of these sets of codes will be activated. This is why we included the delay before so that it's held up for one hundredth of a second. That gives us time to enable the particle effect so that the particle effect begins to happen before the asteroid is destroyed or removed from the game environment. That's a little bit more believable than the asteroid disappearing and then an explosion occurring. So we'll save and go back to our game environment. 
And it's always a good idea when you've done something like this to save the slice overrides so that what we've the particle effect that we just added is now applied to all of our asteroids. So let's give it a try and see if we have an explosion. There we go. We have an explosion. And that's how we add a particle effect to a entity, a component entity inside the Amazon Lumberyard. Nice and simple. This is already applied to all of my asteroids inside the environment, so I'll always get some type of explosion.